Yay. Here we are. Hey. Welcome, guys, to another amazing, amazing Raven's Cry live chat, Thursday edition. Today, we have a very special, special guest from the marvelous place for from Filipinas, right? Filipinas. Welcome to Kat Taylor of Sadie. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. How, how are you? Doing good. It's... um. It's afternoon here in the Philippines right now, mm -hmm. but just like you, I just woke up, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, doing good, chilling. <laughs> because that's because you're working on night, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I work at night, so Ooh. yeah, you're a true rock star. I'm, I'm far, but I'm close. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys, Fede and Julia? How are you? Oh, everything's fine for me. Thank you. Just woke up a couple of minutes, you know. <laughs> every time I see you, Fede, it seems like you it, as just wake up every time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the point. I like sleep. You know, but who who doesn't? You know. <laughs> yeah. But you also sleep. have to what else? leave. Or go go outside. No, no. no people. Just sleeping. No. That's that's enough for me. What what, Julia? <laughs> yeah. Your room for you. What? Your room is enough for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My perfect place, you know. <laughs> okay, Kat, so what about uh, what about your um, uh, your town? How is the situation back there? Um, I live in Makati in the uh, Philippines. Uh we're pretty okay here. Uh it's just that there's no, yeah, we, like uh, me and uh, Feed were talking about earlier. It's just, mm -hmm. Everything's normal here. It's not really that much of a lockdown anymore, but no gigs. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. boo. <laughs> boo to that. But uh, I think uh, little by little, it's getting back to normal. Mm -hmm. That's great. Away. Yeah. That's great. Anyway, I think you, you're living in a, in a place that it's not so bad to stay in lockdown i mean you have beaches and the sea and beautiful yeah, landscapes well, <laughs> the beaches are a little far from where i live but not that bad you can drive to it mm -hmm. yeah but in, if like with other places like cebu i don't know if you've heard of cebu philippines like mm -hmm. i like it there because you can literally like just 30 minute drive to the beach and then back mm -hmm. to the city yeah that we don't have here but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're allowed now. We're allowed to go to the beach now. I think. I think I heard in the news. So I hope I want to go to the beach so bad. Haven't gone since Amazing. last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, okay. What about your your bandmates? Are you living near each other or? Sort of. Yeah. My my guitar. Uh, one guitarist lives probably like 15 minutes away. The other one is, mm -hmm. um, our drummer is closer. And then the other two, uh, probably like an hour away. <laughs> so we're, okay. not, we're not that far from each other. It's just that there's not much gigs right now. So we only see each other when there's recordings and shoots. And mm -hmm. Yeah. We see each okay. other on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like in, I think in the most uh, part of the world, Zoom is the new bar <laughs> you know yeah new pub. like i live inside zoom now because of work <laughs> <laughs> zoom lady <laughs> okay okay guys i think we can start with our official questions what do you think Ooh, yeah question. but we yeah, have very some... official oh some yeah, comments but... yeah some comments uh for example uh from dax Hey man. Say, oh, Darren, hey, good day Dad. to all you all. It's nearly bedtime here. What time? I want to say that. <laughs> so good, good, no. good night. <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, Tonze Tress say, what's up, Kat? What's up, Tonze? He's like the number one Sadie fan. He's so cool. Oh, oh welcome. Awesome welcome. Yeah. Got it. Okay. You know, shout out to Sadie X Kulto. Kulto, yeah. 
um, our fans, they call themselves Kulto. We have a cult. Oh. So. <laughs> cool, cool. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> yeah, he said, Kat is our cult queen here. Yep. Wow. You're right. You're right. <laughs> 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 So I miss now, them. So I, I have to so long. Yeah. I have to talk to you like you are a queen. So No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm thought okay. this queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about you and when did you start singing and how? When did I start singing and how? It was an accident actually. Um, I, I like, I don't know, growing up, I kind of knew I knew how to sing, but I was so shy. So never really joined any singing in school. Like, I'll join the beauty contest, but not the singing. <laughs> but um, uh, later on, like, when I was uh, about 15, I think 15, um, a bunch of my friends wanted to, like, form a band and I was new in that school and I was like yeah I'm I'm also a rocker a metal but it wasn't true <laughs> and when we jammed that's when we kind of found out that I could actually sing metal like <laughs> and from there probably a couple more bands I, I had a couple bands that were like you know just like for fun and then um, a friend of mine Paolo like and I wanted to form a female fronted metal band. And that's when Sadie was born. <laughs> so it was 2003. So that was 2003? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So we were very, very young. When I was like, my bandmates, we were only like 17, 16 at that time. And yeah, not knowing what we were doing, I <laughs> started playing gigs. <laughs> And we we got lucky. We, we have um, we it was pretty quick with like having a following. Like, people liked us <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. And then our first album came out in two thousand five, and it did pretty well. And it yeah, we were able to write it out for a good ten years because I had to go to the states after. A few years, uh, my mom passed away at that time, so okay. I had to stop and then come back. I mean, when I came back, people were still listening to the old album, so I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> and yeah, from there, we, we grew. We grew as musicians. But now my bandmates are not the same guys anymore. Of mm -hmm. course, like with time, you know, life happens people change their of course of course priorities and yeah but the, you know my bandmates now they're pretty solid i've had them since 2014 i think okay <laughs> like this lineup so yeah really good very adult <laughs> very adult <laughs> <laughs> that's a beautiful beautiful story and um, um how is the um, um in your in your state, uh, you're the most uh, uh, the genre of music uh, that works better, you know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because here in Italy, metal it's not the mainstream genre of music. Oh, here too, it's it's mm. pop here. <laughs> Everything. Okay. Yeah, we have a very niche market um, for metal here, but over time it 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 has grown so compared to like back in 2003 when we were starting out um we definitely have a lot more corporate like mm -hmm. support now like, okay which is, which is great because we were a taboo before but now mm. not more we're actually considered you know professional it's actually a thing <laughs> like considered to be professional so it's good <laughs> Yeah, and that leads to our second question. That is, when did you decide to become a professional singer and which was the spark that brought you to this decision? Um, mosh pits were the spark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
my my mom she she was she was deaf uh, so she couldn't hear oh and um whenever like the first time she saw a mosh pit like when i was you know with my other bands before and also with sadie like the first time she saw a really big mosh pit she got scared and she was like no can you go she was signing to me get down they're mad at you <laughs> like, <laughs> get down from there and then afterwards i told her nah like when they do that that means like it's good it was a good show and it became a requirement for her like whenever there's no mosh pit she would say ah you suck it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the, that energy the energy of the mosh pit made I, i feel like that made me decide to become like to do this you know mm -hmm forever <laughs> yeah that's that's great it's a a different point of view you know different perspective yeah. mm. well of course there's a lot to it with you know like music itself like we we've um we've come up with a lot of songs and it, over time it it you know it grows and turns into something else and it's it's very addictive <laughs> you guys know that for sure like, mm -hmm. creating new songs and whenever you have a new song it's always like it's something that can't be taken from you and it's really good <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> that is your kids that are screaming oh yeah that cannot <laughs> <laughs> that cannot be quiet <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no problem no problem <laughs> and which are uh, speaking a little bit about your influences um, which are the albums and the bands that have influenced you the most during your musical growth I'm curious um, during the musical growth we listened to a lot of Coheed and Cambria um, oh really yeah a lot of Deftones too so I think I don't know if you listen to Sadie there's a lot of that yeah. blood in there <laughs> and yeah of course the new the new metal artists like corn and um i listened to a lot of glass jaw growing up and emo i like emo taking back sunday stuff like that <laughs> um slipknot like the usual the the, the new metal stuff so mm -hmm. but i think um yeah mainly we listen to a lot of coheed and cambria and also tool Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big um, did you mm, usually listen to other kind of uh, bands besides the metal ones? Oh yeah, I love Top 40. Like, <laughs> I think <laughs> I think as a I think as a lyricist or like as a vocalist, it's very important to be um, open uh, to mm -hmm. influences and. Uh, the it's really good with like let's say pop music they always have really good hooks and something that um would be very beneficial if you're like a metal singer writer it's the hooks are very important yeah so yeah yeah what about you guys what are you listening to in this these these days i need the suggestions <laughs> yeah what are you guys listening to these days the silence This no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, <laughs> kidding. Um, I'm listening to uh, the weekend a lot. Mm. The weekend, mm. yeah. I like it. I like it. Party B. Yeah, and also um, a, new, a new band. Let me let me check. Called it's. Raven's a good friend, friend of mine <laughs> sent me. No, 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 no. <laughs> No. <laughs> a good friend of mine just sent me this amazing band and I my mind blow away totally. They call I'm, I'm um, curious now. Gosh. Chroma Paragon. Chroma Paragon. Yeah. Mm. Oh sorry, sorry. Uh, this is the album. Uh, the man is The, the band is Moon Tooth and is a kind of, I think, craziest. I don't know, it's it just blew my mind. What channel? Uh, it's I don't know, it's like metal plus prog stuff plus electronical plus. I don't know, 
interesting. Plus plus plus. <laughs> yeah, it's plus it's, plus plus. You know, <laughs> you know. You've I been like very specific. Plus plus plus. plus. <laughs> yeah, it's always you know. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. And also listening to some classic stuff like. Mm. Uh, right now, I listen to a CBC. Oh yeah! I don't know why, but all yeah. about the gold. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, I was listening to Ronnie Ronnie James Dio yesterday in the car, and and Megadeth and that classic stuff. But I need new new suggestions. So, what about you, Julia? What are you listening to? Well, I'm a, I'm a bit confused in this um, in this time because I, I'm I'm working a lot with my students, and they need to uh, to study a lot of different stuff of, uh, from Italian uh, Italian pop music to uh, soft rock, and. Uh, my listen, my personal listening in this moment is, uh, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm listening to, I'm listening to uh, an acoustic, uh, an acoustic um, concert from Brian Adams. Uh, um, oh. Very soft, very. Um, oh, Brian Adams. Very romantic. <laughs> very romantic, yeah. Not very romantic. Brian, all, Brian uh, Adams is. With all these um, uh, evergreen, uh, as you can, <laughs> as you can, <laughs> uh, uh, heaven or uh, summer. summer yes. Yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> I'm feeling old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. But it is a, a new um, live, a new album, or? An old one? No, no, no. I think it's um, it's an old one. I found it. Uh, I found it in my um, in my old room, uh, <laughs> my grandparents' house. In a box. And, uh, <laughs> a, <you know. laughs> I looked at it. Oh, I had it. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Okay, romantic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> My bandmate has been listening to uh, Ghost. I don't know if you. Oh yeah! Wow yeah! I really yeah. like it. <laughs> like if anything, yeah. Like, They're very interesting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah. It sounds like old music, but it's not like. True. It has that interesting. flavor. Yes. <laughs> the modern approach, you know. Yeah. Do we have any comments, Fede? Yeah. Um, uh, we have Julia, do you want to, to, to read for us? Yes, of course. I, I was oh, waiting. That's great. Uh, oh, I, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's, mine. it's mine. Shut up. No problem. Um, <laughs> I have a comment from a big fan of you, Kat. I'm British. Oh. Really, uh, she, uh, he is uh, Cindy L. Taylor, or she is, I don't know. It's, it's I'm British. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm I'm British. Been listening to Sadie since uh, 2003 and four. Uh, while I was I was still in the UK, now I live in Philippines, and Kat hasn't missed the queue like a fine wine. Just gets better. Oh, wow. see, I, I don't know how I feel about the fine wine. It's still, it's still old. <laughs> 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 okay, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I love you, Sindil. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Then we have Tonze Treze again. Said he was the pioneering female friendly metal bands in the Philippines, in the rock scene. Roxy, yeah. Then we have our friend Billy <laughs> Hanson. Hi, Moni Raven. I met you. Hello. I met you. Of course, guys, we have all the best here in the Raven Scry chats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, all, the, all the pioneers. As always. <laughs> India Taylor again. I've been listening to the Chelsea Wolf lately. Chelsea Wolf. 
I don't know. I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> you know Kat? No, I don't know Chelsea. Will we, well, now we can search it. <laughs> let's Google yeah, it. Yeah, let's meet. Yeah. Let's chat. <laughs> That. Sorry, then, we are ignorant. <laughs> Just a little bit. What? Did you want to buy oh, yeah. from the metal bands in the Philippines again? And oh. Time Tiffany, too. Time Tiffany. Oh. We will check. <laughs> it's a okay, uh, Gothic rock uh, singer, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. 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 Anyway, cool. 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 Gothic rock. Yeah. Okay. okay. Love you, Kat, from. Oh, I love you, Casley. Thank you. <laughs> and Tonze Tres again. Can't wait for the third album of Sadie. Oh, yes. We have maybe, to record maybe, that. <laughs> maybe, maybe, she, maybe she will tell us about later in the next questions. So stay here with us. <laughs> uh, let's talk about uh, the band. So you, you told us something uh, before, but how Sadie was born and what are the story and the concept behind the project? Oh, the concept? Well, yeah, we were very young, so it was very, like, we... So the name Sadie was from, the, it was uh, Living Dead Doll, you know, the Living Dead Dolls. Um, oh, Living Dead yeah. Dolls. <laughs> yeah, Living Dead Dolls. I had one. I had one before and it was, yeah, her name was Sadie, but without the Y. And we just like put the Y. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no deep meaning, just like, yeah, let's be in a metal band. Okay. Of course, being 16, 15, that's pretty much all you think about. I think the meaning came later. Like, yeah, you know, Va Va Van, Allen, Van Allen used to say, if sounds good, it's good. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, we, right. wanted it to be, we, we wanted it to be two syllables. So when mm -hmm. the crowd says, hey, they say, they say. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's oh, it. Yeah, it, oh, yeah. It shows we get it. Like, oh, it's easy to say. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Speak, that's though. true. Other people would say say die. Like for the longest time, we had to correct so many people. Like, no, it's Sadie. <laughs> 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 it's the why. <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise, you should be a black metal band. Say die. Say die. Something like yeah. that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, and do you have any? You know, main main uh, topic that you use uh, in your lyrics on you like to speak of, or um, it has evolved over time. It's well, we, usually our songs like um, it has a very horror like ish theme to it, but um, melody wise, it's always like fifty fifty. We do a lot of like popish almost popish but not really <laughs> melodies and then metal and yeah um we we talk a lot about you know violence and you know we're very we're very dark like in terms of lyrics but we're good people <laughs> you, you said you said violence with that smile um, it's a little bit creepy <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> no i'm joking <laughs> No, like with, with our song, uh, Yokai, it talks about uh, thrill killing. So mm -hmm. it, it the lyrics, it was like a conversation between the black uh, spirit and the killer and the, you know, and it, mm -hmm. it's like, I don't know. I think um, we just get really adventurous with that. With the, we, we like dark stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and like if it's movies, we're, we're horror movies for sure. We're, Mm -hmm. We're American horror stories for sure. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we also we also um, film a, a video a video that is called uh, uh, Noir Desire, where Julia is in fact an assassin. See, isn't it fun? Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, Julia? <laughs> yes, yes, it was very very funny. <laughs> yeah, to kill the man. <laughs> 
Yes, yes, it was. Um, uh, we take inspiration from um, um, that kind of novel. Um, come si dice giallo? Uh, noir. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> that kind of noir uh, novels, and um, it, we wrote uh, a, a short story about uh, a killer. Mm -hmm. And um, it was very, very, very funny, as I already said. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, it's it's fun. Like uh, dark themes are really fun. But with like our our previous two tracks, I think it's more uh, like Cage was written by our guitarist. Like he he was the one that wrote the lyrics to that. So mm -hmm. it's it's um, more yeah. It has like a different approach to it. Uh, it's it's like it's still dark but kind of motivating in in, in a sense uh mm -hmm. that's where the music video has wrestlers uh i don't know if you guys have seen it but yeah we had we had um philippine wrestlers uh in our music video and a lot of fighting and it was really cool a lot of action shots great then, yeah. yeah with now with firefly it's more it, it takes more of a like a feminist type thing like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a girl, don't fuck with me, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Interesting, interesting. And okay. what's uh, the songwriting process of the band? How do you uh, usually come up with your ideas? Yeah, usually uh, we start with guitars. Um, guitarist would send us uh, a track that he already constructed. And then the bands, the, the bandmates, like the drums and everything else will, you know, add on to the recording. And they send it to me and I have to write on top of it and we jam. That's the usual, the usual process. Um, with a couple of songs though, the lyrics came first. And then there's one that my, like Cage, where my guitarist already, uh, Carl, he already recorded himself singing and he wrote it down and everything. So I just had to follow what he did. So it varies. And I like that. It's less work. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun because, you know, you get to sing somebody else's idea in terms of melody. Like, it's refreshing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, how about you guys? What's your song process? Uh, like, how do you guys... Right. Well, of course, they are very, very, very different. Every album we did, it, it, in a, it was uh, different. So we try to uh, uh, rehearse and see, improvise and see what, uh, what uh, is going on. And then we try to uh, write riffs, uh, guitar riffs or drum fills, and then try to build a song around it. Or in the third album, that is a concept album, we did uh, another different thing. So we st started from the story uh -huh. and we, we wrote the story and then we tried to uh, recreate the right emotions in every, in every song. So we started from the emotions and then the music uh, came out. So it's totally... Yeah, it's like different every time, I guess. Yeah. But that's yeah. the, the beauty of it, you know? Yeah. Strong writing. Am I, for, <laughs> am I, yeah. am I forgotten something? Guy? Anything? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you, you wrote uh, using, using your um, wash, uh, I don't know, <laughs> the washing machine, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> because I, I try inspiration from the sound of my washing machine. And when I wrote... The, the maybe guitar riff, yeah. Do you know, I'm crazy. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's, 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 well, I'm crazy because I, I just <laughs> I just wrote a guitar riff. What? <laughs> I can I hear you? What happening? No, 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 nothing. That's interesting. Go on. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. And I, I, I was woke up at 4 a.m. I remember that. And I just went to the kitchen. And while I went to the kitchen, I listened to my washing machine. And you felt something. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the point. I'm, I'm totally crazy. I, and I thought, okay, I'm crazy. I'm mad. I have to do something yeah, about this. Right. You no, know? you hear it. No, sometimes it comes to you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But sometimes it happens also when I see, I don't when know. When you drink a lot. The night yeah, before. water. Yeah, water. <laughs> Yeah, water. Yeah. water. <laughs> Alcohol fuels it as well. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, yeah, it's. I, I tried inspiration from different environments, you know, the living room, the kitchen, the laundry, <laughs> the washing machine. Of course. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool, man. That's cool. Come yeah. out of the room from your house. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> Go out from your house. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I have to. I have to. This September. I we know. Yeah. You should, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's good that you are that you find inspiration in, in everything. That's that's great. You're not crazy. You're you're a you're musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're kidding. an artist. Yeah. Artist, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not crazy. He's an artist. I'm supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, but you know, sometimes I I try I try to get inspiration from other things. Uh, for example, maybe uh, from, the window. I don't know movies like this. Oh. Like sounds, you know, maybe I, I listen to uh, a movie soundtrack mm -hmm. and from there I I try to get an idea an idea to 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 write a riff, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe listen to music uh, of a different kind of genres. Mm -hmm. For example, uh bossa nova style of music and try to take this and uh, write in a in a metal approach the same thing or mm -hmm. a rock approach the same thing yeah yeah, yeah that's, that's, cool. that's I, cool i work great so, great so you're uh, not but the washing machine is the best i i did yeah. in my <laughs> entire career so <laughs> yeah, we, we actually have a song in from the first album. It's called Damien. And it's like talks about evil. And uh the riff there, it um it was inspired by the you, you guys play Mario Brothers, the, the very first Mario. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay. You, you remember stage two, the blue? Like then and then and yeah. Like if you listen to Damien, that's the like that's like the riff. <laughs> oh, well, I, I have to listen to it. <laughs> yeah. It's a very old song. It's already a teenager, but yeah. Like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I, I feel you with with this washing machine, I get you. Like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's more interesting yours, of course, but yeah. No, no. <laughs> I like the washing machine. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, we, we will talk about uh, uh, video games later, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, I think we we can share uh, some links about Cats and the band. What do you think, Fede? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You're right, man. Here's all the links from the link. Cat. <laughs> so if you want to follow her, you can do it, guys, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also, of course, support Sadie on their pages on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube channel, and also listen to them on Spotify. Spotify. You have to. Yes. They are great. Do it. Do it. Okay, we will we'll share, share them again later. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, let's talk a little bit of, about something that we all miss so much, that is live concerts. So, do you remember your first live performance with the Sadie? And what, oh, was, your, what was your best live performance ever? Traumatizing, my, my very first. 
uh, <laughs> with Sadie was so bad. <laughs> Why? So um, we played this gig where um, we opened for another female fronted uh, band, but they were already, you know, they already had a lot of practice at the time. We were only like, we had like, we saw each other for two days and then like, let's go get that gig. <laughs> so of course it was, you know, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, <laughs> my first gig wasn't pleasant. Uh, like people were supportive, but we knew it sounded bad. <laughs> and, <laughs> It, it pushed us to practice more and uh, yeah the the succeeding ones were were better and we finally get like had fun but like the very first one we didn't like the first one <laughs> yeah, like, it, it, we, it was useful you know <laughs> it was useful but painful <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite one uh would be Rock Rakan Festival. Uh, it's it's a it's it's a big festival here in the Philippines. Um, where usually there's more than a hundred bands that play, and it's in different stages. And there was one. Well, we play there every year. And there's one event when or one year that I got to ride a floating like like a a, a kiddie pool, and got to go to the mosh pit while playing while singing, which. I think was, uh, yeah. It was wow. My favorite. <laughs> cool. Because cool. yeah. cool. I could like I'm, I always wanted to stage dive and like the year before, like the the festival before that, I I wore a jumpsuit and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stage dive, and then like when I was about to do it, I got scared because like you know, what if they pull my my shirt off and. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I need to be like protected somehow. Yeah. But I want to go. My, and, yeah. So the kid pool was your choice. <laughs> yeah. That's great. The wrong thing about yeah. it is my my mic wasn't wireless, so it like oh. it went like that and then stopped. <laughs> 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 and then I was I was thinking if I didn't have the wire, I could have gone like further and got lost somewhere so yeah <laughs> i don't Rock know, I roll. know should it have had a wire or not i don't know but it was fun and it's one of yeah. my favorite you live the dream <laughs> yeah of many of us yeah i, I never i never did a stage dive with your kids right with, i don't know like be... i want to but i don't know <laughs> See, I'm a big wrestling fan. Like I grew up on WWF, WWE, <laughs> so like I'm a fan of all the diving. But if it's me that's doing it, I don't know. <laughs> so I have to I have to ask you, what's your favorite wrestler of all the time? Of all time, Bret Hart. Bret oh. Hart, forever. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Great. Yeah, it's like uh, I don't know. I like I like watching wrestling. I grew up with it, and then now I have little boys, and you know when they picked it up, I came like I stopped watching it for a while, and then mm -hmm. like my boys started watching it, and I got sucked back in. Like, yeah, I I used to watch it for uh, when I was a kid, and I used to to love um, the Ultimate Warrior. The ultimate warrior, hell yeah. Yeah, because of all, all of his straps or colored straps. Yeah. I'm curious. So yeah. remember he had all the straps, right? Yeah. Because um, here in I don't know, here in the Philippines, we had this urban legend. You know how Ultimate Warrior suddenly stopped wrestling like in the in the nineties. And people were like, he died because the the muscles pop. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of the ropes. Did, did that urban legend reach Italy or no? Was that I don't it? know. I never <laughs> I never heard about this urban legend. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's okay. crazy. honestly honestly I don't know, but I remember that I I think uh, something like that when I when he stopped to to, to wrestle. To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I don't know the I don't know the truth. Yeah, but the, the, no. My question is no. The truth it it didn't happen. He died like 
recently, but <laughs> it didn't happen. But like, I'm curious about the rumor of the exploding muscles. Oh, like, right. <laughs> did it did it reach Italy or, <laughs> or not? I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should write a song uh, <laughs> about the exploding. About, yeah, about the exploding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think it's a Philippine urban legend about this this muscles, the mm. ultimate warriors muscles, because everybody here, like all my friends, that when I ask him about, you know, like, do you know about this urban legend? And they're like, yeah, yeah. it exploded, right? And then. <laughs> So it's here. I don't know if it's in Italy. <laughs> and I, and I remember thinking about um, using some that kind of straps around my my arms because I thought maybe if I put these straps around, that, my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would become the same with the same muscles like him, you know. Oh my god! <laughs> But it, it doesn't work. So bad. Yeah, the things you think about when you're a kid. Like when I was a kid, like um, uh, Bret Hart would always like, or whoever like wrestlers would do like that. And I'm like, I want my fingers cut off like this part. <laughs> so you don't just yeah. be like, this. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kids are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the music. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have some comments, right? guys yeah we have justin mayer that asks can you tell us what's going on in fact <laughs> no what's going on <laughs> yeah we are, we are going crazy as usual yeah uh also we have other comments i think yes from, we, we have um, a philosophy yes we have oh, oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i, I was okay. reading another another comment Uh, by Dex. The artist can get inspiration from the noises of the washing machine while the engineer oh. working on how to make it wider. <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you, Dara. Maybe you shouldn't make it wider. <laughs> Maybe agree. you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, then we have um, some comments before. Yeah, from Trese Trese also. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> can't can you can it. you read it below you, Julia? Oh, I can't. I, I'm sorry. Why? Okay. Technical. Houston, you have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Darren, <laughs> can you help us? We haven't. We haven't. Well, um, from Tons and Trace, eh? uh, yeah. they just released a new single and a new music of Firefly. A new solid song. Thank you. Yeah. I listen to it. Pretty good song, guys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, mm, and we have Cindy Altea. Kat should tell you about the Onyx track. What about the Onyx track? <laughs> well, yeah, Onyx, it was written lyrics first. And... Uh, i was actually pregnant in the music video oh yeah i was i was pregnant with that that guy that's being loud over there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> casper yeah. but um onyx is actually a track that uh i think we yeah it didn't take us a while to write that one it was one of those like songs that you jam and it actually comes out during your jam, during practice. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool song, by the way. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, we have any comments? Yes, we, yeah. have, uh, we have other friends with us. We have Edith. Hola, buenos dias. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. here. And Justin Mayer, where are you from? I think it's uh, where you. Oh, am I? Where, where am I from? I'm from the Philippines. <laughs> I'm from Manila, Makati, Philippines. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the future or what we can talk about the future. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the plans for you, 
can see it in the future? Well, um, we just released our, our new single a couple of, I think last week or a couple of days ago, uh, Firefly. And that's going to be the third, actually it's the third single off the new album that we haven't released yet. But we will be releasing it um, soon. And uh, uh, after this, uh, yeah, once we get our album out there, uh, if we can have tour, then for sure we'll we'll go. <laughs> like we're once it's allowed, once or wherever it's allowed, we'll try to go there and just keep on going, keep making music. And we're very grateful with um, the studio access that we have, which is really. During these times, it's it's the big thing because <laughs> at least we get to play somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great, great. So, guys, cool. looking forward to the the pages, the official pages of the band, so you can be updated about all the amazing stuff that are, that are coming about Sadie. Uh, okay, we are now. Oh, uh, number eight. Do you have the, any other projects besides Sadie? Um, sometimes I would sing for um, my friends' bands for collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, two years ago, I did a collab with uh, this band called Mr. Bones and the Boneyard Circus. They're similar to uh, they're they're very th like theater uh, theater type metal. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so. We they, they did an, uh, an official soundtrack for a movie uh, that's actually on Netflix. It's called Maria. And um, it's about this uh, assassin, uh, this girl assassin. That's the, that's the movie. And um, there's a track called Ugly Creatures. And I was the one singing in that, in that uh, oh. track. Cool. It was used in a fight scene. So wow. oh, that was so. cool. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. Because you, yeah, I, I you, do do you pra practice uh, some martial arts? Me, I don't know martial arts. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you watch Maria, there's a lot of um, mm -hmm. martial arts there. Yeah, yeah. fighting. Yep. <laughs> cool. Yeah, but cool, I don't have any side projects. I would, I would do like fun, like collaborations with other mm -hmm. artists. But Sadie is my main. <laughs> My main baby. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. How about you guys? Do you have any side projects? Like, do, you, do you guys have other bands? Or... Wow. Uh, you have a lot. <laughs> no. I, I talk first. Uh, I don't have uh, yeah. any particular side project. Ravens Cry is my main project since years. But uh, in occasion, I... Uh, I played in some wedding or some acoustic situation with friends, uh, but nothing um, constantly, you know. Nothing serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about you guys? I have, like I have a lot of, um, a lot of uh, side projects before, but not at the moment. At the moment, I'm uh, I'm working with Raven's Crack, and uh, and that's enough for me. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, about me, I I had a couple of years ago a side project was like a death death metal plus I don't know metal coreish sound. And it was really, really heavy stuff. And uh, it was, by the way, um, a band founded by by my good friend and tattoo artist. So it was mm -hmm. was cool to join it. And right now I'm I'm working with uh, an Italian artist for his debut album. So yeah. Yeah, but Raven's Cry, of course, is my main focus, you know. So, yeah. Great. This is my... Uh, you, you, can, you can always uh, build, build a band with all your uh, washing machines. <laughs> of course, you know. of course. Yeah. My dog, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
all the stuff you have in your house. Anyway, yeah. now uh, we are to the our favorite question because uh, from this question we uh, know some every time interesting stuff about our guests. So, which are your hobbies and interests besides music? My hobbies. Um, <laughs> I am now like, I don't know, I'm developing this really like, I love chihuahuas right now. I'm, like I just bought my second chihuahua. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I'm developing like a, a chihuahua addiction. <laughs> 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 and uh, what do I like to do? I like, um, I like collaborating with photographers. Like I like modeling. We, we do a lot of good photo shoots. Um, I've been getting into makeup a lot too <laughs> mm -hmm. since the pandemic um i do have a makeup show in a in in a facebook channel in uh, it's called it's rakista radio in, in rakista radio and yeah it's been fun um i have a co-host that's a boy and he does makeup too <laughs> so cool. i've been getting into makeup a lot and yeah i think those are my main hobbies at the moment chihuahuas and makeup makeup but can you show us your chihuahuas right now oh i will hold on one second okay <laughs> waiting for chihuahuas if, if I'm not wrong, the, the, there is also a song These are hey hi hi, <laughs> hi. billy <laughs> Billy. And hey, Billy. Is Ursula. Hey. Wow. They are so cute. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> this is Casper. Hey, man. Say hi. Hey, Casper. Nice to meet you. <laughs> They're so, so yeah, cute. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so They're I'm so cute. Oh. by dogs. <laughs> <laughs> He's spicy. <laughs> He's very jealous. This one, the black one. Yeah, the black one is very jealous. Mm. So um, yeah, the good thing about Chihuahuas, you can carry them, and even if there's yeah. two of them, you still. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can you can carry carry yeah. them with you in in your. Yeah. Purse. You yeah. can carry them anywhere. <laughs> <Fun. laughs> yeah. so, so this is what I'm yeah, I've been playing with <laughs> during the pandemic. Mm. I want more. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> oh my I god. Think, I think I will go out after and buy one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super fun. yeah. Even if they're fighting, it's like see, you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so aggressive. Yeah. We're all fighting. It's, it's the little wow. one that's aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are so cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. And do you uh, used to watch, uh, you know, m movies or TV series? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm a Netflix bug. Like, I like to watch mm. many things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> what, kind, what kind of movies? I like horror movies. Um, what was the last series that I watched? Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what was the last? I forgot. But, like. I'm I'm into horror like anything freaky like anything like creepy like crimes I like crime channels like, mm -hmm. I, like I like documentaries like that oh um the Cecil uh, Hotel that was the last docu series oh. that I watched uh pretty creepy yeah <laughs> <laughs> you didn't watch what have you guys been watching lately. Mm. Oh. Um. <laughs> um, uh, I fell asleep. <laughs> I, I have. 
I'm, I'm leaving a break from series now. Uh, oh. But uh, the last one was The Crown. The Crown. Oh. Yes, it, but it, it was, um, it arri I arrived at, at a point where I, I slept so well. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's good. That's good. So I said, um, okay, I need a break. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's the truth. Me, me either. I uh, sit down on the couch at 10, you know, 10, 10 30, and start to watch something, and then. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 It's, it's fall asleep. You just watch to fall asleep. Yeah, but yeah. lately I, I started to watch uh, uh, a series about Osho. I think it's called The Wild Wild Country or, or Wild oh, Wild I've County. I've seen yeah. that. Osho, yeah. Yeah. The, the I should, I, one. yeah i saw the first episode and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it, cool. it is it is interesting i think or, or yeah. uh, tiger king tiger king was fun <laughs> mm -hmm. what's the title it's um it's a documentary about uh this guy joe exotic <laughs> And he owns these big cats, like tigers and stuff. And like, like there's this like whole scene with um, different cat, big cat owners. And <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of drama. It's fun to watch. You should you should check it out. Like it's very okay. thank like, you. And it's it's entertaining. It's really mm -hmm. entertaining. Like chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, <laughs> I think we are near to the end. So we um, at the end of the live chat, we used to ask to our guest to do a very official final speech. So if um, something to final. to say yes. to the audience, it's your moment. <laughs> Well, um, I'd like to thank you guys, uh, first and foremost, for inviting me here. It's really nice to meet you, all three of you. And um, yeah, like, it's an honor to be, uh, like, you know, to be in touch with you guys. Like, you guys make good music as well. And I hope thank in the you. future we get to play together. Um, of course. We should. <laughs> we probably should. Yeah, we should. We should. <laughs> and um, yeah, like, to everyone... Uh, just, um, yeah, Sadie is not going to stop uh, making new music and uh, please support our new single. Uh, yeah, it's, we're working on the, the new album as well. So just watch out for that and we're not going anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> stay safe, everyone. And just remember to entertain yourselves, just chill. We can get through this. You know, I know it's hard that we don't have gigs right now, that like not normal gigs, but we'll get there. And yeah. And buy chihuahuas, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kat, are you still here? <laughs> Whoa, someone called my phone. Okay, so that's what you were okay. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. so, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was it was great for us to have you. And you. let's let's share let's share uh yeah. another time all the links about cat and the band. Also with Raven's Cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys. Uh, Check them out. So, and also Sadie. And you will find Sadie also in our playlist Raven's Cry Metal and Rock Guests on Spotify when you will find all the band uh, a song from all the, from each one of the band that we have here as a guest so it's yeah. full of great music mm -hmm. check it out and don't forget to set a reminder on our Facebook page and YouTube channel so you won't miss our next live chat and that's it. Thank you guys for being with us. It was a great pleasure you to guys. have you. Thank hey. you. Thank um, you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. To the, to the next one. Bye guys. Bye. bye.